Hey, good morning guys. Today is officially eight days out, so that tomorrow starts, I guess, like peak week, pretty much. Um, right now, I'm going for a walk outside on my block. Every morning before I wake up to do my cardio, I like to get some vitamin D into me and sort of wake up with the uh, natural sun. So I've been just taking like a small little walk, but I just want to give you guys a couple little updates about what's been happening to me. My sleep has been absolutely horrific. Um, usually I can sleep in, which is great. So I've been sleeping in today. I literally have three and a half hours of sleep because today I have a very long day ahead of me. I have to go, or what I've been doing is I've been getting a full body massage, right? And every single time I do that, it relieves so much stress out of my body. My muscles and everything just opens up, gets so full. So um, I got to drive to Delaware, which is an hour and a half drive, literally 90 miles. So we'll be uh, doing that. So it takes up a lot of time. So I'll wake up early, do my walk, do cardio, eat, prepare my meals, go there. Um, last night, right, I've been waking up, this morning I weighed 169, which has been weight for the last two days. Been on low carbs for about five days now. I think today we get a higher fat day, and tomorrow's like my last refeed before we uh, fill up for the show. Been looking really good every morning. I'm just holding on to more water today, specifically because last night I was just stressing. I just had a lot on my mind and when you stress you hold on to water which isn't good and it's definitely what you don't want before a show. I mean granted I still have more than a week to go so we're, we are a-okay you could say but uh yeah definitely before the show we don't want to stress so we got to sort of cut that out. I'd probably say this week was the hardest week so far of prep. Uh, on one of my rest days just time was going by super slow and I was just instantly hungry after wow okay I can't do this. I was just instantly hungry after every meal. I just tried sleeping like it was it was rough, but that's really it. I'm almost done with half of my walk, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop recording, put this down because my shoulders literally hypertrophy to the max. Just wrapped up cardio. I was stressing pretty bad just like last night, so I was swimming into a lot of water this morning. But I feel much better right now. Um, still haven't eaten any food, and I've been on low carbs for like how many days? Five. So today I get a little fat refeed which is dope, always good, always exciting. All right, so we got breakfast made, which I am so excited because I haven't had this in a long time, which is my favorite, like, eggs, avocado, and then I have like a six ounce sort of egg white sandwich. Um, so total breakfast is two English muffins, 28 grams of avocado, three whole eggs, and six ounces of egg whites. All right, so after a very stressful hour and like 40 minute drive, I've arrived at where I'm getting my massage. But before I go in there, I'm gonna eat. I prepackaged some. I prepackaged two meals, so one before the massage and one after. Um, we have six ounces of chicken, a third of a cucumber, and then we have 21 grams of uh, cashews in there. So, yeah, higher fats today. But I'm excited for this massage. It really opens me up. I'm gonna do it before and after. So when I get in there, I'll uh, do probably I'll probably record on my phone and have two different clips. So yeah. All right. So I just started. With, uh, all right, so I just wrapped up that massage. It was two hours long and very much well needed. Um, now we got meal three going down, which is 200, question mark? 200 grams of rice, um, six ounces of beef, and then 84 grams of avocado. So I got that. I'm gonna eat this. I got like an hour and a half drive back home. And then I'll uh, eat the pre-workout meal and then we'll go uh, train and hit some shoulders today. As I eat this meal, I'm just gonna talk about a few things that's been happening lately. So I go get these massages like every uh, every other week, so every two weeks. And I've been doing this now consistently for about four months. And I can't imagine not going to get this massage. I never done it obviously before the four months ago, but I literally need it so badly after every two weeks. It literally helps, like I'm gonna put up the two photos, hopefully they came out okay but you open up so much and your physique literally turns better. I feel better, I sleep better, everything's just so much better and recovery's so important. Um, and I can't believe I neglected that stuff. And also like my training split, wow it's so hot in here. Um, I train five days a week. I used to train six days a week, but I literally go all out on the five days and take two rest days. And then another thing I would like to talk about, we're like a week away from the show guys. That is so crazy been prepping now for like 23 weeks or the for like literally a couple seconds couple couple minutes on stage I'm excited I'm not gonna lie keeps me up at night thinking it's this close and 
That's why my sleep's been so bad. I'm not really that nervous. The thing I would say is that I think about all the variables I do like in order to prepare for this and making sure I'm doing everything right. It keeps me up at night, which sucks. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Really am, guys. We're like a week away. So that's really it. I just want to eat this food now and sort of enjoy some ACs. It's really hot. Hey, okay. So we're about to eat our pre-workout meal, like an hour, hour, 10 minutes before we train, or hour 15 before we train, which today we have 100 grams cream of rice with 30 grams of whey isolate. And then we have an English muffin with 23 grams of an almond butter. So this is pretty exciting. This is really good. I ran out of cinnamon, cinnamon for my cream of rice. So, so I'm gonna eat this, relax a little bit, go to the gym, and I think we're gonna get a pretty crazy pump today. Yeah. Eight days out, guys. Getting closer. We're about to go hit shoulders. I'm pretty tired. Um, but yeah, I just gotta get it done. Eight more, I think it's like, how many more workouts? Like five, so. Make them count, baby. I need a haircut real bad. We'll get a stage cut Saturday. Stop thinking about you and me yeah. When you left me I was all of this uh, video. So I posted on my story, right? Just like ask me and Sir Coach here some questions. So I wanna get along with that. So first question, let's see, what's the first question they asked? Favorite food not on prep? I like my donuts. You love donuts. Yeah. Last year, how many did you eat last year after your uh, first show? Too many. Show. Too many. Too many. A lot. Where are they from? I don't know, too, so too many places. Yeah, I've been Jay. How did Anthony obtain such a tiny waist, if noticeably smaller from when he began? So maybe you want to talk about some of, uh, I guess, what we have you doing for apps? Um, genetics, I'd say, and then taking advantage of that vacuums I do in the morning, which literally, the last like two weeks I've been doing them like pretty consistently, drastically decreased my waist size, and that's really it, getting shredded. Shredded. Thoughts about dirty bulking? 
personally, I did that before. Um, sort of gained 25 pounds in three days and wasn't even bulking, it was just bad. Uh, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. No, I don't like the term the dirty bulking. I think um, you need a nice nutritional program. Obviously, you need to be in a surplus. But uh, as far as getting too fat, I see that very often with people. It's not just about the scale. This is one for you about me. Uh, How does Anthony behave on prep discipline wise? I'm very curious. So, I'll take this for the first part for your age. I think for his age, I'm very impressed. Um, I've never seen someone his age really actually follow everything. I'm very surprised when they do. I was skeptical at first, but he's proven me wrong. Um, as far as being, because we've been around each other training a little bit more often for sure this time around, uh, I would say you are more aggressive when you train due to just how I'm pushing you. Um, you're never really too short tempered with me ever. You seem to be pretty calm. There are some um, times. There, there are a few times I can tell you a little snippy, so the more I'm around him or any <laughs> client, I guess you could say, I always pick up on their mood, right? So when I can tell when he comes in the gym, if he's tired, I can tell if something's bothering him. I think one time, something with social media or something, I just picked up on it right away, I knew something was wrong. Um, but for the most part, you haven't, you know, we'll play with each other actually, where you'll say, uh, you'll send me a picture in the middle of the night of food, <laughs> yeah. you've done it like four or five times, and usually, um, I think the last time, I just was actually messing with you, I said, yeah, I was have you go eat. And uh, that, that was literally a week ago, that messed with me. That's gonna be good. I'm sorry, but yeah, he's very disciplined to get to that question. <laughs> and then there's a follow-up on how did we meet? So I'll say this first part, right? I knew about Kyle as like a coach around the area from like a couple bodybuilders. And um, I wanted to do a show, so I inquired, sent him an email three times. And he ignored like two of them until about like two weeks later or something, he finally replied. Why'd you, why'd you ignore them? Honestly, I... I I think you mentioned your age or you said you were young. I could just tell the way you had written the email. It was an adolescence and um, I thought it was pretty good. I just thought it wasn't someone that was serious and I'm pretty particular with who I take on. I don't go by just genetics, I go by someone who actually wants to change their lifestyle if they want to do a show in his case. So after he sent the second, or I think it was the third email, I was just like, all right, this kid, I'm gonna give him some kind of response. And then uh, I saw your pictures and I was like, oh, this kid's actually kind of in shape, he has some potential. And then from there, like I said, you, um, I sent you the questionnaire and you mentioned, I asked for your schedule and you gave me your school schedule. And that's when I just asked and I said, all right, like, let's give this a go. Let's see how it goes. Someone asked about our training split. So I'll go, previously I used to train push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, rest, right? Six days a week. And then when I started training with Kyle, we do, starting with Monday, right? It would be chest, then legs, back, rest, and then shoulders, arms, rest. So we train five days a week, hitting every body part like once. and. My body has never been more taxed training that way. Like we literally go all out on those five days. So yeah, that's how pretty much we've been training. We've been training together now for like twelve, like solid weeks almost. Yeah, I would say again. I would say the first four weeks. Four of the weeks, twelve we Yeah, it was different. Our, our I was at Dave's. Was, yeah, so he was at Dave's, and then uh, the days that we could train together, I just wanted to make sure it was an important body part. So for him, uh, chest training, back. You know, where the ones we try to prioritize. So the split varied a little bit, but the last five or six weeks we've been like pretty perfect. Like one day, yes, sir, the second day. When am I get? When are you guys getting a transformation video? Probably after the show. I'll get that out for you guys. What's the game plan after the North Americans in both scenarios, win and lose? Win. Probably rest a little bit. Sort of recoup. I've been pushing pretty hard these last couple weeks. Um, definitely take a nice off season. I don't want to get fat. We're gonna reverse properly this time. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be yeah. With you this time, yeah. yeah, we're gonna reverse properly. Um, yeah, yeah. If I lose, um, we'll see how much we lose by. If it's if it's drastic again, I feel like why push for something that's not in our reach. Right. Um, if it is in our reach, I would say Team Universe in November, which would be with Dylan. So you guys will see that show with Dylan, which you guys have been asking for. What's been the hardest point of prep so far? Personally, today, today was quite hard. I'll be honest, <laughs> I was exhausted. And, yeah, it's just like, it's just weird timings at nighttime with not being able to sleep and then thinking about food, just like hunger, but, I mean, you don't give in. That's really it. Will I ever decide to go up to classic or bodybuilding? No, I don't think so. I think men's physique fits me quite well, and I like to stick with that division. Next question was, uh, how often do we incorporate drop sets into our workouts? At least for like one or two exercises, right? Yeah, I'd say we, we utilize drop sets as like intensifiers. So sometimes we do a rest pause, sometimes we, we want more volume with the drop sets. 
but we don't do them in every exercise. It'd be too taxing. What did you do before lifting? I was a soccer player and a student, still pretty much am a student. Oh, here's a good one. Why did you start bodybuilding? What inspired you to start bodybuilding? Um, I would say as a per like me as I guess my character is whatever I started doing like video games, soccer, anything I did, I always wanted to be like the best at. So when I first got into the gym was through like just one of my best friends just working out. We worked out in the basement, and then I watched YouTubers. Like I saw like Kai Green, all these like crazy bodybuilders. And I really was like, wow, those guys look great, like better than just like, an average gym bro. And then I found David Laid, and then now obviously good friends with him. I saw Stephen Cowles, like that's the physique I want, and I saw the immense physique, and I was like, I want to take that route, and just trying to be the best I possibly can in that. So that's what got me into bodybuilding. In your, one of your videos, you had a letter that you wrote to yourself for four years, so mm -hmm. this person said, where do you see yourself in three years? What do with that pro card? Um, I don't know, three years, that's such a, there's so much you could do in three years time frame, that's over a thousand days. Um, wow, I'd be what, I'd be 21. Hopefully not an alcoholic, just kidding. Um, I don't know, hopefully just, so doing the same thing I'm doing now, I'm doing what I travel. enjoy. I do want to travel, that's another thing. Hopefully sometime when the borders open up, I want to travel with some good friends. All right, so going from the gym, and if you guys didn't see that, we got some chicken I'm about to eat. Um, you get chicken, six ounces right now. My rice is cooking, so rice will be on the way if I could open up this salt. So we finished up that shoulder workout eight days out, and that was a good workout. I didn't take any caffeine. I took, yeah, I took no caffeine. Just Gorilla Nitric, great pump, and I was energized enough to get it done, so that was good. We looked pretty good, and basically just had more fats today. Tomorrow is a proper refeed, last refeed before show, or before the refeed before the show. Basically, it's gonna be like a trial run, see how we're gonna, I guess, fill me out for the show. Now what we got here is three rice cakes, um, some avocado, and my eggs over easy the way I love them. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be good. Um, after this, I have one more thing to eat, and that's pretty much it for today. And then we'll officially be one week out. Okay, I'm exhausted. Um, this was a long day. A lot of driving, but a final meal, which is a little concoction I made. Pretty proud of myself. Gotta get creative on prep. So I had some rice cakes, and so essentially what's in here is two crushed up rice cakes, beef, and avocado, because that's what I'm allowed. And so I crushed up the rice cakes, Mix some avocado, hot sauce, salt, and beef. And now we have this, right? And it's very, I think Gordon Ramsay would say it's quite delicate on the palate. And that the flavors blend very nicely. We're almost there.